begin tonight with a follow up to a deadly crash in Hopkinton last month. I'm Mike Montecalvo. And I'm Kate Walsh. The town council met tonight acting as a licensing board while discussing a car crash that happened by the business Boneyard Barbecue on August 16th. The town is considering whether or not the business can keep its liquor license. Now, investigators say 48 year old Derek Payne died after crashing a Jeep at a nearby driving range. The bar's co owner, Patrick Kane, was arrested a few days later for obstructing the investigation. Authorities say he lied about the bar's surveillance system. Eyewitness News reporter Sheena Loshuto was at the meeting tonight and joins us now live. Well, we just learned new information from police about what they believe happened just hours before that fatal crash. Now, the meeting is actually still going on right now. As town officials describe it, what's happening in there is similar to what we'd see in a courtroom. There are two sides, the Hopkinton Police Department and then the business Boneyard Barbecue. The town council is acting like a judge in the case and in the end will ultimately decide if Boneyard Barbecue can keep its liquor license. According to the police department, there have been several other incidents where police have been called to this business and tonight we're learning from police that the crash victim Derek Payne was at the Boneyard barbecue before the Jeep he was in rolled over. Police also say they have proof Payne was hanging out with the bar's owner Patrick Kane. Now we are hearing from several officers who are being questioned including a detective that responded directly to the scene. These are all new details we just found out tonight. Uh, they took a postmortem uh femoral arterial blood draw and it had a blood alcohol content of 0 0.104. We were approached as the investigation was made public. Um, we learned from patrons that were there that evening that they had seen um, Mr. Payne uh, drinking and present at Boneyard Barbecue. Now, there is no vote on this liquor license just yet tonight, but it actually looks like the town council just went into executive session for the night. So, of course, we will stand by for any new information and we'll keep you updated both on air and online. Make sure to check back into Eyewitness News this morning starting at 430. For now, I'm Sheena Lushudo, Eyewitness News.